In this video, we're going to show how to find the UTM coordinates in a given datum, starting with the geographic coordinates of a point. The context of the scenario in this video is that we will use a published map to determine the latitude and longitude of the approximate point where the Polaris and Dog Valley faults intersect. Then we will extract a digital elevation model from the appropriate data set where the DEM will cover at least two kilometers from the intersection point in all directions. Now I'm counting on you to use the pause button and navigation slider on your video app when you want to read or review the contents of this video. First, we find the point on a map published in the Bulletin of the Seismological Society of America by Hunter and others in 2011. That point is where the Dog Valley Fault, this dark line here, intersects the Polaris Fault, this white line here, right about there. That point has a decimal latitude of approximately 39.41 degrees and a decimal longitude of minus 120.19 degrees. We then navigate to the 2014 Tahoe National Forest LIDAR dataset on opentopography.org, which contains the area of interest to us. Down here under coordinates, you notice that the horizontal coordinates are listed in NAD 83 parentheses 2011 coordinate system. So this is the North American datum of 1983 as realized in 2011. Now those are important quantities for us to take note of because when it comes time to tell the data, the um, website the minimum x and y values and the maximum x and y values of the area that <clears throat> we're interested in extracting, we need to express those data in terms of a UTM coordinate system in the NAD 83 2011 datum. So, to make the conversion, we go to a nice converter that's maintained by the National Geodetic Survey at NOAA. First, we look for the input boxes uh, for the reference frame that we're looking to use, and we select the reference frame that we want. It will be on whatever it is when you fire up the site. In this case, it's the North American Datum of 1927 but we want to choose NAD 83 2011. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to enter in the coordinates of the point that um, we're interested in. We know the coordinates in the geodetic latitude longitude system, so we make sure that box is checked. And so here's where we're going to put the decimal latitude. We determined that it was on average 39.41 and the decimal longitude we determined was minus 120 point let me see 19 degrees okay and as soon as we put those in we're ready to submit our job so we hit that blue button and then scroll down and we see that our results are in the column listed UTM slash USNG we actually, there are a lot of results on this page. We actually only need these two numbers. So with that in mind, we open up a spreadsheet and uh, we have five columns here to work with. And in the very first cell, what I'm gonna type in is Easting. And then I'm gonna put an X in there also to remind me that the Easting coordinate is uh, the equivalent of the x-coordinate in a typical uh, Cartesian coordinate system. In the next cell down, I'm going to write northing and y, just to remind myself that the northern co northing coordinate is the equivalent of the y-coordinate. And now I'm going to put the data in that we collected from this site down here. So we're going to start with the easting. We're going to copy it and then we're going to paste it. Okay. 
Then we'll come back down and collect the northing. We're going to copy it and then paste it. OK, so the data that we're ultimately going to be supplying to the um, opentopography.org site is not just the center point of the area we're interested in, but that point plus or minus two kilometers or 2,000 meters. So in order to determine what those points are, we're going to do a little bit of calculation in the spreadsheet. So equals this value minus 2,000 and this equals the original value plus 2,000, 2,000 meters, okay. We're going to do the same thing for the next one, so equals this value minus 2,000 and equals this value plus 2,000. OK, now we're ready to uh, input those data. So we navigate back to the open topography site. And with our spreadsheet off on the side where we can collect these numbers, we just copy and paste. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Need to move the cursor over. Copy, paste, copy, and paste. Now, if we haven't goofed this up, we should get a box. Yay, we got a box. So that's the area that we will be extracting from the data set. And that's all there is to it. There are details about how to actually do the extraction of the data and what to do with the data once you get it extracted in other videos in this set. But for now, here's my contact information. Let me know if I can help you get up the learning curve uh, and so that you can do this all by yourself.